all things unexplained. Andrew, you brought up radiation, and when we had Eric Bard on, he said something really profound. He believed that he could discover or that he was looking for one thing that could unify or unite all the spooky paranormal phenomenon that they were experiencing. And you brought up radiation, which is going to happen in Beyond Skinwalker Ranch, and we know that that happened in Skinwalker Ranch, and We've seen the 1.6 gigahertz signal at Skinwalker Ranch. And through your data collection, do you guys get the sense that there is some sort of unifying data out there for all of this? So, you know, what I'll say to that, um, because I want to protect what you're going to experience yourself when you go on the Beyond Skinwalker adventure with us. But what I will say is that the data and the evidence that Paul and I were able to bring back to Travis and Eric, confirmed and advanced many of the theories that they had landed on at Skinwalker Ranch. When you can go across the United States and replicate the results that they have right there in Utah, it's really compelling evidence that backs a hypothesis. So with what we brought back specific to radiation, I'm going to let Eric be the one that kind of shares with you how that advanced or or changed his theory or his, his hypothesis. And I'm going to let Dr. Travis Taylor do some of the same stuff because our job was to collect the evidence and bring it back so they could make some more advanced conclusions. And it was really fulfilling, I think, to both Paul and I to be able to bring back the level and the intensity of information that we brought back. Yeah, I think, you know, the 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 notion is and this is this is, you know, from what I brought, I think, from uh, being sort of a documentary style journalist is, you know, I like to, you know, um, the, the word in the, in the business is, is immersive. You know, you want to take people, you want to bring them in to the experience with you. And so everybody there on, on, on set or on location is potentially an observer of a situation. If you have a unit of 12 people, you know, you're not going to say only these two people, only what they see matters. You know, you've got a whole bunch of other people who are all, you know, with, with cameras, very skilled, you know, engineers and technicians who are like, hey, something's happening over here. I don't know what you idiots are looking at, but the, you know, <laughs> the story's over here. Um, so that's, you know, I think that's what really what we're getting at here is this is, this is uh, we're, we're trying to take this out into the field with that spirit in mind. Like, you know, Andy and I are the guys who are going to stand there, you know, with the, the microphones, although we never do that. <laughs> um, but everybody is there potentially to, to be a part of the story you know, to be a part of the experience because that's reality, right? That's how these things happen. So. All things unexplained. <laughs>